Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to set up an ultra long distance IP camera system with a fiber optic cable. Well, first, first of all, we know that the fiber optic cable can provide us a long distance, fast speed uh, internet connection. Comparing to an ethernet cable, our fiber optic cable has a lot of advantage. First, it's the high speed, then it's the bandwidth. The bandwidth is like always around like a thousand megabits per second. And ethernet cables, once they reach 800 meters, it only drops like to 10 megabits per second. So this hundred times difference is a really big gap. Also, the fiber optic cable is not that hard to install and has a more secure transmission than ethernet cables. Cause you know, since it transmits through optic signals, signals are hard to intercept, even if they can intercept it and somehow, it's hard to decipher as well because it's an optic signal. It's not like the data signals transmitted on ethernet cables, ones and zeros. Maybe it's good. They can have a way to decipher it. And also since it's a fiber optic cable, the material used for the bouncing lasers is more, mostly plastic. Some maybe use some materials that are close to glass. Uh, these cannot conduct electricity, so we don't have to worry about like power surges sometimes following the cables and burning both sides devices. That won't happen. And most of all, the fiber optic cable is a very ideal method because it doesn't. We don't have to have a lot of sacrifice in our in connection speed. And so, when we use a fiber optic cable, we can f fulfill our long distance connection. So right here, I'm going to set up a connection. Imagine this is our main network. This is our the switch we have set. And then we're going to connect it with our fiber optic cable. Imagine this is like a 1500 meter cable. And we're going to connect it all the way right here to this router and power uh, make our camera functional and allow us to, you know, view it on our monitors. So first we have to know some basic knowledge about the fiber optic cable connection. The whole system relies on three components. First, the fiber optic cable is, of course, provides the high speed transmissions. And then because of the high speed transmissions, we need to use this module, the SFP module, for a small form factor pluggable. It kind of captures the signal on both ends. You can understand it like that. It captures the signal and then it provides the signal to these converters. The media converters will convert the optical signal to digital signal or the other way around, depending on it's going or coming. Okay, so then I'm going to show you guys how to connect them. These are very easy steps. First, if you have like a duplex cable like me, you have two lines. It's really important we remember to choose the same end. If we have A on this end, we're gonna have to connect to A on th the other end, or it's just gonna create a non, not thorough connection. You're gonna wonder why is my connection not going through? Because you're not using the same line. So first, we're gonna use one end. We plug our fiber optic cable A into the FSG pluggable. So the form factor pluggable, it's really easy to use as well. We just open the lid on our PoE switch and then we plug it in. It's not that hard. And then it's now working and reading its signals and starting to transmit signals once the other end is ready. So we find end as well, double check it. So they can want to speak so the A is correct. And as you can see, the SFG port is integrated in the PoE switch. So we don't need to connect it to our media converter because you can understand that it's integrated inside. It has its features, so we can just simply plug it on the PoE switch. And when we don't have those features, like for a router, we can use the media converter and it's really easy. So still plug it in. And since it's an independent device, we'll need a power source for it. 12 volts, easy to get. So right here, 12 volts goes in. And then it's all ready. We're going to connect our ethernet cable to the converter. 
and then connect it to our router. So now our router is receiving data. And not so quickly, we're gonna use our security camera and connect it with the ethernet cable. And connect it to our router. So the indicators are on, it means this device is functioning properly. Everything's going great. And you can imagine this whole part is in our main network's control room. And right when I move to this part, this section, this system is like 1500 meters out. So this whole middle part is all covered by this single even uh, fiber optic cable. No ethernet cable can do that. So this is pretty much at the setup. If you have any more questions, you can leave them at the section below. And thank you guys for watching today and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.